Ladies and gentlemen, I'm reporting live from Ground Zero, where I seem to have discovered an alien spacecraft of unknown origin. It appears to have a BMW logo on it with Roman numeral symbolism. It has a lowercase i and a capital X. Now we had lead engineers analyze this spacecraft here and it doesn't appear to have a traditional gasoline engine. This has got to be the most strangest way to open a hood on a spacecraft I've ever seen. You have to take your hand and feel for this rubber to pull it on this side. Bam, done. Next, you come on the passenger side, find the other side of it, pull it, done. Now, the hood of this gorgeous spacecraft is open. So you could just open it like this, and wow. So it appears to not be powered by a traditional gasoline engine. Rather, it's replaced by two electronic motors powered by an electrical battery of some sort. Our lead engineers did some testing on it and it functions at about 105.2 kWh. Wow. Amazing. Look at the windshield wipers it has. Now, on this spaceship that I noticed here, they took into consideration when you're driving at high rates of speed that there might be debris or asteroid dust that comes on the windshields. So if you come here, it appears there's a solution that you fill up right there where it's out a solution to clean off the windshields. Further experiments show that this could travel a minimum of 290 miles before having to charge it again. Appears to drive itself and it also parks itself remembering 10 different locations, but it's not 100% hands-free. Update to the battery's preconditioning system shows that the IX owners, they could preheat the battery pack prior to plugging, which improves the charging rate to make it go faster and build up power in the battery much better. I just like the shape of this steering wheel. It's like a hexagon. Gorgeous. The pair of electronic motors on this bad boy was looked at very closely and it has about 516 horses put together. It could actually go 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 3.2 seconds. So if you go here, we have 22 inch wheels. Look how big and gorgeous they are. Look at the beautiful logo there. All season tires, very premium. I love these 22 inch Pirelli tires. Here we have an IX logo, BMW symbolism, very nice sporty looking key fob. Get this beauty open real quick. I think you press this button here. It's equipped with a nice privacy shield on the back. Love these charging cables, very state of the art like an alien technology. If you want to have more room in the back here, you're able to put down the seats. And here's your emergency escape hatch. Charging cables here that you could plug in to your house. So if you ever need emergency charging, you just attach this and you could charge it right from your house. How cool is that? And then you got a bigger charger for more juice. State of the art hinges here on the side. And look how cool it is right here. You got the lights that reflects through. It's the strangest thing. If you look here at the bottom, you don't see any exhaust because it's completely void of gasoline and oil. The exotic handles that are here, it's all electronic. You just give it a tap and it pops open. Here's they put a high quality Harman Kardon sound system here on the side. When you're inside of the vehicle, this is how you press it to open it. You grab here to shut it, and it looks like you have refreshment holders here. State of the art capabilities back here, full control on whoever's in the back seat to adjust the climate. You can put on a max air conditioner there, adjust things of how you want them. Doesn't appear to have rear heated seats though. And a nice storage compartment here on the back. 
you got a USB type C charging port here and look at these gorgeous seats pull this bad boy down and it looks like we have an over engineered cup holder here we have a gorgeous sunroof up on top here but it's non-functional but it gives it a very space futuristic type look and feel the developers who created this spaceship gives you a premium BMW booklet in case you have any questions. Full charging port right here, USB type C, and we got wireless charging, which is very nice to see on this electronic vehicle. Here, this is how you open the glove box. You got lumbar support, I believe, and this is how you move the seats to get them comfortable. If you have a specific position you like it in, you could press one, and if you have a girlfriend, that likes to sit closer, she could adjust it and store it on number two. In case of a battery failure, you don't gotta worry about exiting with electricity. You have an emergency exit hatch right here. So as we get in this vehicle, get a look at how amazing this steering wheel looks. Absolutely gorgeous steering wheel right here. Everything comes to life. Here's your navigation system with a gigantic speaker and ventilation on the front. Windshield wipers. The solution comes out the entire length of the windshield wiper. So we have some customizable features right here. Your volume source, a glow in the dark toggle wheel. And then this is how you're able to move forward and backward on this gorgeous vehicle that we have here. Climate control system. Could turn it up higher. Navigation. Comes equipped with a satellite radio. Heated seats and heating steering wheel. And we got cooled ventilated seats here. Comes equipped with a massage chair. When you're inside of this spacecraft, I don't think that you're going to have to worry about road rage because if there's ever a traffic jam, you could just sit back and just allow the chair to give you a personal massage in this car the full battery goes extremely fast there's your sensors right there power 296 miles before you have to charge it again and the battery appears to look at the front facing grill it's completely closed off because it's not powered by gasoline look at the gorgeous functional vents here on the front of the vehicle with an array of sensors to keep you protected as you drive and you got full functional vents to allow airflow to get better acceleration off of that center line. Look at the carbon fiber that they have here to make the vehicle lighter. Isn't that awesome? I could just touch it all day. Carbon fiber on a car, not all heavy and crazy. Fully vented seats. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the cool tinted windows, an awesome spoiler here on the back. And the window has to move down so you have clearance. That's very disheartening because what if there's a battery failure? How does it know to do that? So that, that, that's a little bit of a zonk for me. Check this out. How futuristic is that? <laughs> yeah! How futuristic is that? Zero to 60 in three seconds. 
Now that's power. So we'll just cut up here. Premium, high quality steering wheel. Feels very firm and luxurious in your hands. I'm a huge fan of the, the feel and quality of a steering wheel. Right at your fingertips, you got navigation, access to the telephone with a taptic feedback, and your media to turn on your radio. This is where you have your charging. Pop that, pop that. Plug the whole thing in for super fast charging or for your level two charger right there. And there's a light that lets you know if it's activated or not. The sad thing about this is, is many people aren't gonna be able to enjoy this vehicle in their lifetimes because the cost of EVs are skyrocketing in the United States. And unfortunately for this car to get in, you're looking at just shy of $100,000 MSRP and your monthly lease is probably $1,200. So it's a very, very expensive machine that we found here. Well, thank you so much for taking the drive with me today. I really enjoyed having you. If you enjoyed this video even a tiny bit, please tap the subscribe button. I could use your help. And make sure you like this video and leave me a comment if I missed anything. Thank you so much, guys, for checking out this vid video. And now I got to blast off back to Neptune, where this thing came from.